In the hum and buzz of life, a gathering of old university friends, reuniting after a hiatus, found themselves in the warm embrace of their former professor's home. As the conversation meandered, it found itself in the territory of complaints, about work, about life. The professor, wise as ever, brewed a pot of coffee and returned, bearing a tray laden with cups. Some were stunning crystal, others shiny glass and some merely plastic or plain, inexpensive glass. Come, have a cup of coffee, he invited. Observe, he noted, how the elegant, costly cups were chosen over the cheap ones. But it's the coffee you want, not the cup. Yet you compared your cups with one another just as you do with your jobs, families, possessions, he mused. The cup doesn't change the taste of coffee, it merely holds it. It doesn't add value to the coffee or your life. His words hung in the air. Don't let the vessel distract you from the essence within. And so it goes for us. Are we letting the cup distract us from the coffee? From the essence?